Okay, well, welcome guys. We are so happy um, that you guys are on tonight. We had a really, really fun weekend um, in Nashville at Mini Summit, and we're going to talk a lot about that tonight. We have some people um, that were um, in attendance that are going to share some of their takeaways, and then Katie and I are going to share ours, and then we have a couple things that we want to share with you um, that we are going to do um, actually starting tomorrow. So, um, we are going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, um, congrats to Jen Roman um, for being on the Mindset Monday call. I can't wait to hear that recording. Um, I don't usually get on that call, so I didn't know that was happening. So that will be fun to, to watch that recording. And then also congrats to Katie and Charmaine. They were on the panel in Nashville and they did an amazing job and they talked about leadership and it was, it was awesome. The whole weekend was awesome. Um, but of course those are near and dear to our hearts. So, all right. So why don't we go ahead and get started, um, with a few of you that would like to share your, um, takeaways from summit who would like to start. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's, I'll just take Patty since I can, she's next in line for me. Okay. <laughs> um, well, thank you guys for I don't know, everything you've put together. It, I just felt like the whole weekend was a really great balance of getting to know different people in smaller groups and also a lot of good information at the summit itself, at the conference. And I don't think it was overdone. I think like every panel was well-timed and all of them you could get little tidbits from. Um, on Friday, we had panels in the afternoon. And like I said, like some of those, we've heard a lot of them before about how to get PV or host parties, but all of them had some little tidbit that you can pick up and something new that you could try, whether it's in your VIP or in a party. So I always enjoy picking up little things like that. And then Friday night, I have to say, I know I told you guys already, but it was my absolute favorite part. Um, we had a nice dinner at Monica and Katie's Airbnb. And it was nice because we see you guys here on camera and like Charmaine and Gina I've seen, but I haven't met them before. Oh, actually, I think I met Charmaine once before, but just to see everybody like in relaxed, not that it's not relaxed on here, but you know, just no work, <laughs> everyone just kind of chilling out and eating dinner. And it was just, even before Jeremiah and Aaron came on, it was just such a nice environment. I was kind of just taking it all in and thinking how nice it was. And then we had this, I don't know, surreal surprise of having the Bradleys show up and they just hung around with us and ate some dinner and it's nice to see them banter back and forth and just see how down to earth they are and really experienced. And they actually, I mean, Erin actually took out her phone at one point and was taking notes on things that we wanted to see again, like, or things that we'd love to see them release. So that was really cool. Um, and I know a lot of times you go up to them, you're, you like wait in a line to meet them and get to say hi and they'll talk and they, they really get, try to get to know you, but this was just such a different setting for me to be able to, I don't know get to see them in. Um, and then Saturday, the panels again were really well planned um, and they were informative. We had information about reels and um, algorithms and just stuff that always kind of blows my mind. So it was nice to hear everything. Um, and then it, we had another really nice dinner with a surprise guest of Travis and um, Brenda and Zach came by too. So I don't know, the whole thing was just a little surreal for me and I was trying to take it all in but I don't this was my favorite conference out of all of them that I've been to awesome well thank you Patty I second yeah. all of those things um Charmaine was supposed to talk but she said she's not going to be able to because she's trying to get Ren down to go to bed but um you can I don't know I guess I can you can probably just go ahead and read her takeaways I don't need to read them but yes it was it was awesome okay well, let's just go ahead and move on to Jen Roman. Hey, everybody. Um, Summit was amazing. I agree with everything Patty said as far as the nuggets. Um, I think some of the, the biggest things that really hit home for me were when Aaron kicked it off on Saturday and put up the slide that said, belief is what gives you the strength to do hard things. Um, and it's so true. If you don't believe it, then you don't show up, you don't do it. And then you don't ever overcome that hard thing. 
Um, Monica mentioned I was on the Mindset Monday call and that was really hard for me to not like vomit beforehand. Um, for those of you that watched it, I hope my whole body wasn't shaking because my leg was like this under my dining room table the whole time. Like, and my dog was like leaned up against me because he knew I was like freaking out. Um, but um, some of the other things were have fun with it. And that looks different for everybody. The way I show up in my business doesn't have to be the way Katie shows up in hers or Patty or Monica or Gina or anybody else. We all have gifts and ways we excel. And so don't expect your business to look like anybody else's. Um, and then building connections from authentic relationships. It's not just the sales piece. The more you build the relationship, um, the, the more you're going to get in return um, and not just business wise, it'll just fill your cup so differently. Um, and the last couple of things were um, when you're trying to recruit, ask somebody what they need to know before you just tell them everything, because it is very overwhelming to get all of that information at one time. Um, you don't have to have all the answers right away. And I thought that that was really a great way to approach it because then you're not scared of screwing it up either hey, what do you need to know? And if you're not sure what the answer is, you can always just get back to them. Um, and then one of the ways to keep the belief going is write down how this opportunity has um, blessed you with, how it's blessed you, your why, and that will keep you moving forward. And Brenda wrapped it up with all the times we fail and get back up every time we get up stronger. And every time we make a mistake, we learn something, just don't keep making the same mistakes. Well, all of those things were huge. That's oh, is that do you have more to say, Jen, or are you? Nope, you're good. Nope, that was that was it from Summit. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so those are those are amazing takeaways, and it it yeah, the whole weekend was inspiring, and I think I feel like hearing from our founders this time around, um, they just really kind of poured themselves out there and really took the time. And it was, I loved how they told the stories and, and it just it made it more, made them more relatable. And, and, you know, I feel like, um, those, those stories just really helped to, to, you know, get their points across. So that was awesome. Okay, Gina. Hello, you guys. I'm out in the car running errands. We're going to the Olivia Rodrigo concert. And of course, my girls are telling me they don't like my outfit. So we're trying to find something different. So we're out last minute. But anyways, I have some notes here. So let's see if I get this right. Um, I did everything that Patty, Charmaine, Jen said. I mean, Summit is just always a reminder to me just how powerful like in-person events can be. I think just being surrounded in a room with all kinds of like-minded people, like working towards a goal is just so inspiring. And if you haven't been to an event yet, or if it's been a while, like I just really encourage you to, to get there, try to get to Summit. Um, I also enjoyed listening to the panelists. I love that they incorporated this now. It's kind of nice to hear from different rank levels. Um, just like Jen said, I had exactly the same thing that no two businesses are going to look the same. And so something that works for one person may not work for the other, but it was also nice to just get some like refreshing ideas to like change things up if you need to pivot and try something different and always be like evolving in your business to kind of see what's going to work or, or, you know, make things more fun. Um, I got to do something kind of scary myself on Friday. I was actually part of the photo shoot. So that was, that was pretty fun. This whole weekend was scary for me. I'm, I mean, I've been in four and a half years and still traveling by myself freaks me out. <laughs> like I'm fine when I get there with people, but it's like the getting there and getting home. Like, I don't know. I just don't like running with randoms in an Uber or a Lyft that I don't even know. And especially when I'm in an area I'm not at, but I know that these things are what is going to make me grow. And just that being uncomfortable is where that magic happens. So just some little things that were thrown out was like, do it scared, you know, get uncomfortable, stop making excuses for whatever reason, and just do the things. Um, someone else had said, like, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. So I love that. And then also, um, 
Zach had said, like, it's great to have intention, but you got to take action. So an inch of action is worth a thousand miles more than intention. So get out there and just do it. Um, and then another thing I love too, like, cause this was a big step for me too, was just, he said, the moment you don't care, like what other people think is the moment you become free to do what you want. So just stop worrying what other people think. And, you know, he just talked about like, we're the ones paying the bills and having these extra funds to be able to do this stuff with our kids and take these vacations because we took that leap of faith and said yes to an opportunity that has blessed us in, in different ways. So I thought that was impactful. What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> um, and I, yeah, I don't know. I think that was it. it. My favorite was also Friday night. I loved being able to, um, hang out with the Bradleys. And it was so true. I was telling Aaron a couple of things I'd like to see back. And he's like, hold on, let me get on my phone. And she was like taking notes and literally like Love writing that. stuff down. Um, they're just, they're so sweet. And then having Jer or Zach and Brenda meet us at dinner, just to even say hi, they weren't able to stay long, but they, they made it a point to come see us. And Travis hung out with us for most of the night, which was also super fun. So go to summit. That's my, my big takeaway, Yes, but I loved it. It was, it was great. No, I'm telling them to go. Well, my daughter. Yeah. Was. We're proud of you, Gina, for doing all those scary things. I mean, that travel is hard, but I think it just gets easier every time you do it, you know? For and, sure. And that photo shoot, you guys, she was supposed to be there with Cindy Krieger from our team, um, but she had an unexpected death in her family the week prior. So she had to cancel the trip. So Gina was going to have like a, a little travel buddy for that day and ended up not. And um, you did it, Gina. And like, that was so amazing. And she looked great. She had the beautiful um, party in the back um, tank and like a candy apple red and um we're just, we're so proud of you and Jen being on the Mindset Monday, like you guys should see Jen, like she walks in the room and literally the whole corporate team is like, Jen, and they're waving to her and running to her. So it's pretty awesome to know that they know you guys, you know, they, they do, they, they know you and they love you. Erin messaged us after coming on Friday and said, well, she messaged us at the end of the weekend and said that was going to the house with, with you guys was literally the highlight of her whole weekend. I mean, that's pretty, that really speaks to the kind of people you guys are, you know, um, she was with other teams too, and you guys were the highlight of her weekend. So that just made us so happy. I was going to say too, Travis actually responded to one of my stories and he's like, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you guys. Like he was thanking us. And I was like, thank you for like hanging out with us and loosening up. And he chatted with us and it was kind of fun to get to know him better. Isn't he awesome? It's fun. He's one of my favorite Zaya people. He's just like, he's kind of like a girl, you know, he just like, you can girl talk with him and he's just he, he gives you, Monica and I were saying, he gives you some insight into the company, but he doesn't really realize he's giving you insight. Like he was telling us um, about how I was telling Travis he needed to ask for a raise because I just, it's been put on my heart that he needs one. I have no idea what he makes. I don't know why I have this feeling, but I just, I feel like he's so valuable to the company. I just have this feeling that he's not being paid quite what he's worth. So anyway, I was giving him, I was telling him he needs to, to ask for a raise. And he was saying it, he's been wanting to, but it's hard because with sales being down lately, um, like the corporate office is not opulent. He was saying that um, Holly, our VP of marketing shares, like had to do a, had to have a really tough conversation with someone in their office in her like department and then just had to walk across the room and sit in her desk. Like they share a small space. And so just a reminder that like they, everything they do is to benefit us. It's not like they're, um, you know, sales are, are tough, but they have this opulent office, you know, they're, they're, I was saying, do you guys have to print on both sides of the paper now? Like so that they could pay these double commissions and stuff. And we were, he's, he was joking about that, but I just love those little insights where you feel like you really know the company. Um, and that's one of the nice things about hanging out with some of those corporate people. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Yours. I think that's it for whoever 
that was on the do you want to go first, Monica? Because mine's going to go into the, the 54321. Oh, I actually just wanted to say one other thing because I forgot to mention it. It's just the light you felt in the room and the support from everybody, like the folks that were speaking, the support from the audience and all of that. And since the Mindset Monday call, I cannot even tell you guys how many messages I've gotten from the corporate team and from other reps and friend requests from people that like Rob and Eddie sent me a friend request today. Like I, she's been a leader forever. Like just that level of support and the light in the community that this place is, is just so very different. Mm -hmm. um, and you can feel that light and love just when you walk in the room. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, so I, obviously I had a, some of the most of the same takeaways that you all did, but mine is more of a feeling that I had from the weekend than really a takeaway. And I think it started um, with Aaron and Jeremiah coming because they, the girls at the house didn't know and Katie was <laughs> killed. It's like, I think we were husband and wife on Christmas morning and she was like trying to give hints or trying to, and I was like, no, 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 let's keep it a surprise. It'll be better, which I love surprises like that. And so walking up the stairs, um, with all you guys in the kitchen and bringing them up the stairs. It was like to see all your faces. It was like Christmas morning. And I just felt like that mom, like I just got that rush, like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So that feeling will stay with me forever. And then, you know, I was thinking about them coming and I'm like, like you guys said, they hung out, they chatted, they were in no rush at all. Like they would have stayed there. I mean, we, I just felt bad. I'm like, oh, and like Katie was like, you guys have dinner reservations, you need to go. But they were, like I said, they would have stayed there forever. And I'm like, we weren't like right next to the hotel. Like we were what, four or five miles away. So they literally had to get in an Uber and travel out to our Airbnb. It wasn't like they could just leave the hotel and walk around the block and meet us for dinner. So um, you know, the more I think about that, I'm like, wow, like they, they are the founders of this company and they are willing to give up their time and spend it with us. And like Katie said, we both got messages separately from Erin, um, to quote her, she wrote my favorite part of this weekend. Um, so that is just truly, truly special. Um, and then, you know, that feeling that you get, like, like Jen said, in the room with all of the people, I will, I will be totally honest. I, before I went, um, I was talking to Katie about this and I'm like, I'm just feeling so down on my business. Like I just, I need something like, I just, I just feel blah about it. And this weekend was exactly what I needed and listening to them talk about, you know, how much growth we had in February. And that's so unusual. And March is, you know, trending to be just like that. And when, when we bring all these reps in, that is just, a, that's going to be a tidal wave for, for the growth that's, you know, coming ahead. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I finally feel like we are, you know, going to be growing and, and riding that wave. And it's just super, super exciting. So, you know, as Jeremiah said, you know, the quote about having your boat in the water, um, if you have your boat in the water, you will rise and we will go places. So, just remember, keep your boat in the water, um, because I truly believe that we're we're ready to to have that next um, growth spurt. So, that was all my feels from the weekend, and thank you guys so much for um, you know going and attending, and we hope we can see you at Summit because, as you know, it just you know Summit's even bigger than Base Camp uh, or Mini Summit. So, super exciting for it, super excited for it already. All right, Katie. Okay. Yes. I was just, while you were talking, I was thinking about, I can't wait to get everybody together again um, at, at Summit. And we don't stay in an Airbnb there, so we can't use our house, but I would love something that feels intimate like that, where we can just relax and maybe not even a dinner, but like a, just a place where we can all chat and, and um, get to know each other. That's just like my favorite thing. So what I love about these events is because there's so many different speakers, the panelists, the corporate team, um, you, you get what you need out of the event. So we all got something a little bit different. And I really latched on to this um, from Zach. And I've heard it a million times before. And you guys have probably heard it, but I don't know. I just landed different. Um, if you treat your business as a hobby, it will treat you like a hobby and pay you like a hobby. Um, and if this is a hobby for you, that's fine. 
But for me, it's not a hobby. <laughs> for me, this is my full-time job. And I've been here for six and a half years. Um, I This is my main job. And I feel like over the last year and a half, I've been treating it like a hobby. I've been showing up like a hobby, showing up differently. And I'm actually going to go live in the team page tomorrow and kind of give you a little background about that. Um, but when he said that, it was just such a reminder. And, and the thing I love about this business and I always have is that you really do get what you put, you really get out of it, what you put in. And I started feeling that this year when, <laughs> yay, Kayla, um, I started really feeling that this year in January, when I like started re-engaging in a different way, again, I was energized and I, Charmaine challenged me to get that trip. And so I was really working hard, um, towards that. And I'm like, oh my God, crap. If you send all those messages and invite people, look what happens. They join your team. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I had kind of forgotten to be honest that, that really, if you do the work consistently, it does, it does come back. And so when Zach said that, it was just like, okay, I hear you. And then I also loved how Brenda told a story about making a mistake at the airport. She forgot her ID and how she'll never forget that again. And um, it really, it was a, it was a whole lesson about how it's okay to make mistakes. Just don't repeat them. And so for me, it was like, okay, it's okay that I pulled back and I, you know, had, I, I kind of took it easy for a while and I did some silly things like I kind of closed my VIP group down for a while and I stopped hosting parties and I did different things because I didn't think they were working. Um, and it's okay that I made those mistakes and I tried those mistakes, but I learned from them. And so as long as you're, you learn from them, um, it's okay. And so those were the, those were the takeaways for me. And then the other one that I want to share with you guys that we're actually going to give to the team. And we were going to start this in April, but today as I was making the graphic, I'm like, that is not what we do here. We don't start in two weeks. We, we do it now. Um, it's like, whenever I go on like a cut with my fitness or with my eating, I never start on a Monday if I can help it because that's like so basic. I want to start like the next day. Like I want to start on a Friday. I want to start on a Tuesday. So we're going to start this on a Tuesday. We're going to do it for the rest of um, March. And then we, we, you know, we might continue into April or change it up. But what um, this was from a panelist and it was the five, four, three, two, one method of working your business. And I love it. I love the simplicity of it. Um, we did change it. We tweaked it just a little bit. So if you were there and you wrote it down, this might be a tiny bit different, but here it is. So every day, five follow-ups. So this is like thanking someone for an order, asking them if they want, you know, asking um, someone if they want to book a party, um, you know, follow-ups, reach outs. I would call them reach outs too. Or um, networking. I like this one. So networking is anything where you're getting to know somebody. So this could be like friend requests. It could be starting new conversations that have nothing to do with Zaya. Just, you know, talking to people, um, inviting people to your VIP group. So for networking. Um, th these are good if you like to do cold messages. These are good where you're like commenting on other people's reels or posts and just engaging with the app. Um, two, uh, three, your face on social media in some way or form. So that could be showing your face in your VIP group. Um, it could be in your stories. It could be going live. It could be a reel. Um, somehow showing your face on social three times. Number two, uh, or two, two VIP posts a day. So this might be a lot more than you currently have been doing, which is kind of the point. We, and I should have started with this, but we want to help you guys re-engage. Like we're re-engaging and we want to bring you with us. Maybe you haven't stopped engaging and we are so grateful for you. But we personally feel called, feel ready to re-engage. We really want our boat and your boat's in the water so that when this new wave of growth comes that we all can benefit from it. So that's what this is. And the last one is share the opportunity at least with one person. Now, lately, you guys, I've been doing that. I've been sending three reach out messages regarding the opportunity um, Monday through Friday. And that has been really 
really helpful. So one is a minimum, um, but if you can do more than one, I recommend it. So we're going to attach this little graphic that we made. It'll be in the team page tomorrow. And we're going to have some tips coming from some reps on the team about um, how to do these different things. So look for that every day. And we have prizes. So I'll let Monica kind of talk about the prizes unless you want to do that tomorrow, Monica, with your post. But we're going to be drawing prizes. Um, I think maybe we'll do one this week. We'll draw a prize, Monica, or two and draw one or two next week. So everybody that is going to participate will get be entered to win a prize. And participating means you comment like done or something. So Monday through Friday, so this week it'll be Tuesday through Friday, five, four, three, two, one, done. And honestly, you guys, now some of them will take like, you'll do throughout the day, like your VIP posts or your face on social, but, but, the, but the other ones like, they're so fast. You can literally do the five follow-ups, the four networking and the share of the opportunity like in 10 minutes. Really, it's just so fast. And what will happen is you'll get into a habit where you'll start thinking of someone you wanna share the opportunity with or thinking of someone you wanna follow up with and you'll write their name down. And so then when you go to do your work on your phone or your computer, you have a list ready to go. So are there any questions about that? Like I said, Monica's gonna kick it off tomorrow in our team page, but we're just really excited to run with you. We feel like we have, we've always felt like we have truly like the best team and it's been, business has been hard the last few years. It really has. Um, especially when you've been at the very top, you know, and like, like everything you touch turns to gold. So if you were here during the 2020 era, you know, it was amazing. And coming down from that is hard, but we are not quitters. We're not going to, we're never going to leave. Um, and we're here and ready for the next wave. And we really do feel like it's coming. Enrollments, new rep enrollments are up 300%. Um, I think this quarter or from January, I think this quarter. Um, and the reps that are joining are producing. So that's really exciting. Um, okay. I think that's it, Monica. Awesome. So I think we, didn't we talk about doing Stanley's maybe for the drawings, I think. So okay. spring I mean, Stanley's would be fun. Cute. Okay. Um, and then the last thing that we want to talk about is as we were just, Katie was mentioning, like re-engaging in your business, um, wanting to grow. We kind of would like to get a baseline from all of you guys on where you stand with your business. So we are going to send out um, a Google form to the entire team. Um, asking, you know, where you are with your business. Are you, I think the first one was, you want to be removed from the mailing list? Um, or um, are you just happy where you are right now? Um, just kind of status quo, or are you ready to grow? Um, and then we'll take, we'll go through all of those forms and we'll get an idea of where everybody stands. And then we can see what we need to do in the team page as far as that goes or you know, reaching out to people or whatever. So um, anyone that fills out that form will also be entered. We're gonna do um, some giveaways with that. Hopefully that will incentivize everyone to fill out those forms. Um, and then, you know, as leaders, um, if we get forms back from, you know, I, we gotta figure out how we're gonna do that exactly with, you know, the forms and, you know, some leaders um, and teammates and, you know, kind of give you some insight on what some of your people have said too. So we'll figure all of that out. We can do that later, but um, we're going to try to get the form out tomorrow. Um, and then, like I said, anybody who fills it out, uh, if everyone joins automatically added to your email list. Um, Katie, we, yes, right. We don't have to do anything for Marcel. Yep. Okay. They get a welcome email. We send a welcome email Bye. automatically every Thursday and Monday. So if they enroll on a Wednesday, they get it Thursday. If they enroll on a Sunday, they get it Monday. So everyone, yeah, that. And the problem is um, we had some problems with them going to junk or spam. Did we, is that going to be? We are working on that. That's an active campaign issue. So we have to get a new email address because they it doesn't like a Gmail address. So we're in the process of that. So 
So yes, if you want to just tell your teams to be expecting that email and that they could be entered into a drawing or whatever, if they fill it out, um, fill out that form, that would be great. Just to we can post sure. it in the team page too. Yeah, we'll, also, yeah, we'll, also, we'll also post that tomorrow. We have a lot of things to post tomorrow, but um, so yeah. Anybody have any questions on any of that? Did you say, Monica, that they get, we're drawing prizes for people who fill it out? Did you say that part? Yeah. I was getting my two prizes confused. Yes, you were. Okay. Yes, the Stanley's we talked about for the um, for doing the five four three two one. We'll draw one a week or whatever the Stanley's, um, and then this one we are going to give multiple prizes away. Um, we haven't decided what those prizes are going to be yet, but so anybody who fills it out will be entered. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you and. It was a great weekend and already, like Katie said, we're already looking forward to Summit. So um, I know those tickets will be um, going on sale soon. The people that were at base camp, they announced that we would be getting a discount. I'm sure there's going to be an early bird, um, you know, registration too for it. There always is. So look for that. And we would love to see all your beautiful faces there. And in, in well, not September. Yeah, it is September. Yes, it is September. Moved it back. So. All right, ladies. Good night. Thanks, Thank everybody. Bye-bye.